One has to fight the tired. In a war for the spirit, you have no choice. And when you lose all of the creature comforts that you're used to, that have just comforted you, have just been so soft and gentle, just literally couched you in to all of these comforts, and then those get taken away, you're not going to have a choice but to fight the tired. You're going to be tired a lot. So unless one is put into that situation, this isn't understood. There's still too much comfort happening in one's existence and believing that it's always going to be that way. If you want to believe that, go ahead. Again, that's a choice of your belief system or whatever you want to believe about anything. And it also gets into the fact and the question of what is worth fighting for? Honestly, what is worth fighting for? We get into these ideas of hell and heaven. Is heaven worth fighting for? Or is it just something that's granted? Just something that's going to be there just because you want it to be? Just because you've deemed it as something that is just going to be given? Or does one conceptualize that Neither of these things exist. They're just constructs of our mentality. They're just fictions, if you will. No less than the fiction of pain, apparently, that all the people of this world who are going through such immense pains, that must just be a fiction, too. It's just part of one's imagination. That pain doesn't actually exist. It's just, you got to change your vibration and frequency, that's all you need to do. And then that pain just magically disappears. Well, again, one can't just magically wish that pain away. There's a lot of people in a lot of pain every single day. Just because someone is soaked into the creature comforts of a middle class lifestyle, it's easy to project that kind of mentality. That you just have to change your vibration or everything's just a frequency, and pain doesn't really matter. There's no real consequence to any of the things that are being done to the earth or done to any individual suffering, animal suffering, all of it. It's just a matter of perception, if you will. It's odd because there's a very big contradiction. If someone commits a crime... As an example, people want to see justice done. Someone commits a murder, as an example, and they go, find the person who committed that crime and bring him to justice. So people want that kind of thing to happen all the time. But when it comes to immensities, it's just too big to fathom that there could be a level of judgment that goes beyond people's perceptions based on what they believed and agreed to that caused so much pain. They can't imagine it. And again, this goes into the aspect of vision, ideas, and the belief in those ideas. And the wrong ideas cause a lot of anguish. A lot of it. So, where's the justice for those who have been put through all of that agony, all of that pain, for an unknown amount of time, an un unknown duration, just unfathomable amounts of pain and duress. So who's going to answer to that? Where's the justice for all of these individuals, for all of the life forms that have been put through so much? Or does such a thing just not exist because, oh, it's just an illusion and none of it matters. There's no consequence to anything. Well, except it, if it affects a person's life who carries that same perception, then all of a sudden they want justice. Oh, something terrible was done to me. Bring the person who did it to justice. Do something to them. 
but when it comes to the entire vision of this earth, well, we can just call it an illusion, apparently. It's a very strange contradiction, isn't it? So I wanted to kind of get into that and what's worth fighting for and is heaven worth fighting for? And that goes into the aspect of the pain that's been caused in hell's system. Is one willing to fight through the pain that is caused, that there needs to be reparation and healing for? And of course, to do that, one's not going to be soaked into creature comforts, and there's going to be a heck of a lot of tiredness for that reason. So is fighting the tiredness worth it? Or is it not? Is one just going to give up? As I said, the heart never gives up, but the mind will always want to give up. Oh, it's too hard. I just want to give up. Forget it. And then just in the worst situation, let's say, just wish for death. Just take me death. I'm done. Wow, okay. So if that's one's approach, when put into the worst situation, well then, yeah, you'll be done. But if you're truly backed into a corner, I mean it, actually backed into a corner, and you see there's no choice, is it worth fighting for? Giving every last ounce of spirit that you have to fight for heaven. Is heaven worth the fight? Is the heart worth the fight? Is this earth worth the fight? That's the question. Or does one believe those who just project their ideas that it's all an illusion and that there's been no consequences to any of the pain that's been caused? Is one going to listen to the New Age garbage version of all of that? Or does one see it correctly? That no, there is judgment that happens because of the wrong ideas. No less than the smaller level of judgment that happens in this realm when someone does something horrendous to a, another individual. Everyone's fine with wanting justice to happen in that regard, but not when it comes to really, really large things, what I'm calling immensities. So that's a part of it as well. So these are the few questions that I'm presenting. What's worth it? What is worth fighting for? And yeah, fighting the tired when all of this stuff, in in my belief, goes bye-bye. All these things that everyone's used to. Hell's version of heaven. The fall of it all. Or again, as I presented yesterday as the question, is it just a symbol, just a metaphor? There's no true meaning to the fall. So, these are the things I'm presenting today to go into. Take care, everyone. Talk to you again.